The meaning of the German defeat at Moscow was uh, great. The Germans lost the initiative. The Allies understood for the first time that the Soviets could fight. Britain and now the USA started to support the Soviets much more actively. The Soviet command, including Stalin, learned its lessons too. In May 1942, Stalin and uh, uh, Vasilevsky signed a directive which allowed commanders of the fronts to change the direction of the strikes and the lines of division between the fronts. But the Soviet losses at Moscow were colossal. Only during the counterattack, the Soviet army lost 370,000 killed, wounded, and captured. Military industries were evacuated, and they just began to unfold production. The monthly norm of the use of ammunition was uh, unbelievably low. Later in the war, the same amount was used in four, five days. Yet, the victory led Stalin to demand an offensive on several fronts at once. This could not be well prepared and had to fail. The blame again was put entirely on the commanders. Hitler's plan was uh, to capture the grain-producing areas of Kuban uh, and the resource-rich Caucasus. After that, he was going to move uh, into the Middle East. Stalingrad was uh, just a subordinate front. This plan started to be implemented. The Soviet army suffered disastrous setbacks in the south. According to official Soviet data, from January to October uh, 1942, the Soviet army lost five and a half million killed, wounded, and captured. On this map, you can see the German troops already in Transcaucasia and uh, right next to Stalingrad. As I said, Stalin blamed his commanders, but one of the reasons for the defeats was actually Stalin's own poor choice of the leaders. He chose people whom he trusted, but not always the best. For example, Lev Mechlis, who was head of the Soviet Army's political directorate, he was sent to the Crimea to represent Moscow. He was not a specialist in military matters. Uh, his presence actually worsened the situation in the Crimea. He attempted to organize the troops for an offensive, not for, for the defense. So Kerch, where he was, was encircled and fell. When Mechlis returned to Moscow, he was just demoted. Another reason for the defeats in the South was that Stalin believed that another German attack on Moscow was imminent. A German intelligence supported this impression by regrouping troops and uh, distributing false information. Uh, so Stalin continued to concentrate some troops around Moscow. This is the German invasion of the Crimea. And this is Wehrmacht troops in Kerch in 1942. One of the sad pages of the whole war was the fall of uh, Sevastopol. Enormous number of Soviet troops were captured as prisoners of war. German advance in the Caucasus in July, December 1942 was very fast. You can see that the Germans were quite happily driving in a nice 
Caucasian climate. It was warm and uh, the roads were good. But when they actually arrived at some oil wells and discovered that the Soviets exploded them, these victories were deceptive. The German army was getting bogged down. Its resources were not unlimited. In July 1942, at the height of uh, German victories at the Eastern Front, Hitler told uh, Marshal Mannenheim, we did not ourselves understand just how strong this state, the USSR, was armed. If somebody told me that a nation could start with 35,000 tanks, then I'd have said, you are crazy. Yet we have destroyed more than 34,000 tanks by now. It was unbelievable. I had no idea of it. If I had an idea, then it would have been more difficult for me. But I would have taken the decision to invade anyhow. <laughs>